What's up, YouTube? Okay, so what I have today is uh, the amazing Victor the Machine Herald, which Riot released today, and I immediately purchased. Um, I have to say, he is one of the funnest characters to play, um, but compared to our previous champions, Ari and Fizz, he is definitely not overpowered. I would say he's a little underpowered due to his death rays inconsistency. And, um, but I do, I do have to say that in a good player's hands, uh, he could definitely be a very formidable threat, um, and become overpowered with good farming and good skills. So before I continue, uh, guitar solo. Sorry about that. Um, I was playing some music while I was playing this game, so uh, I just wanted to show that guitar solo real quick. Anyhow, um, let's start off by taking a look at this guy's history, or background you may call it. Okay, so basically he went to this school, this college, and he got his uh, work on Blitzcrank usurped by Professor Stanwick, who used his research for fame and glory. Uh, so he got mad and he isolated himself from society and he wanted to uh, find glory for himself so he used his technology to enhance his brain making him even smarter and then he basically turned himself into a robot so what I have to say about this is if it took you so long after you made Blitzcrank to do this shouldn't you be extremely extremely strong if you can create something like Blitzcrank in such a short period of time and then you have all this time where you isolate yourself from society shouldn't you be overpowered well I guess Riot can't do that because then it wouldn't be a fair game but still according to the lore and history it doesn't make quite that much sense anyhow um regardless of that uh let's talk about uh blitzcrank or not blitzcrank um this guy victor um so if you don't know you have this hex tech core in your uh bank or inventory at the start of the game and it's quite useful i do have to say basically you start with this core and once you have more money you can upgrade it three ways and depending on which way you upgrade it, it will enhance one of your abilities. Now, um, for items and stuff, I've just been experimenting around, but um, I've been going straight up AP. You know, we have the uh, Wireless Crystal Scepter, Void Staff, uh, Rabadon's Death Cap, Sorcerer's Shoes. You got the Hextech Core, and probably a Rod of Ages for health. Uh, so experiment around with that. It's a lot like the previous characters, Fizz and Ari. Um, for runes, almost the same thing, but um, I pretty much got straight magic pen runes plus um, AP runes and a few uh, a few um, magic regen or mana regen runes because um, I feel like mana goes down pretty quick on him. So. Um, I think which way you decide to upgrade the Hextech Core really depends on um, what, who you're playing and how your team is. Um, in one game, I decided to upgrade it uh, to influence the W, which I think is, um, let me look it up real quick. The W is, it's the little circular thing that basically uh, freezes the enemy it's called gravitational field um, but I feel that uh, for the majority of the time you want to upgrade it to uh, augment power which will help power transfer the reason is because and this is why I think um, this guy is kinda underpowered um, he has a lot of abilities that have very short range so usually when you're um, solo mid you will be faced against someone with a higher range than you and uh, to combat that um, 
I think the best way to deal with it is to get uh, power transfer uh, maxed early on because it has the highest range and it's the most consistent. Um, also, I have to mention that uh, you have this ability called Death Ray, which is basically this laser beam. And I was like, oh, damn, that's that's pretty cool. But uh, when I played it, it's kind of screwed up. Um, most noobs will just try it out and they'll press the E and then they'll select the target. And basically, um, it pretty much goes crazy. It will just shoot a random direction and you can't really figure it out. Um, so, but I eventually figured it out. Uh, what it is is you have to hold down E, then um, you pretty much click and drag where you want it to go, and then you release from E. If you simply press E and click it down for a second, and then choose a target, um, it will not work properly, and it will just randomly shoot at a random distance. Also, um, a lot of people want to use um, smart cast on it, and it doesn't work. It would just randomly shoot around. So um, that's that. And the thing about death ray is, um, first off, it will shoot the path you are as after you release, regardless of where you um, move from then on. So basically. A good thing about that is you can shoot, aim, and then run away. And regardless of how distant you are from your enemy, it will still shoot the death ray at the point you selected. Um, still, it's kind of weak. And on top of that, the aiming is not good. Um, even if you get it to shoot where you want it, the minions move around a lot. And as you'll see from the gameplay, um, it doesn't do much damage and it just pretty much screws around a bit and does like barely any damage so I mean it's it's it basically uh, makes him not the best farmer at all um, he I definitely don't think he's uh, even a good or moderate farmer I think he's moderate to weak but again with a good player uh, you could definitely use this to your advantage and just uh, stay away and farm when you have to um, however you'll see later on when I get more fed uh, the E will do more damage it will not kill a minion but it will weaken him down enough so you can Q him and pretty much uh, last hit Q is power transfer by the way if you don't know finally you got his ultimate called chaos storm which is the strongest and best ability of his. Um, if you use this right, you can definitely turn the tide of the game. And I think without this ability, um, Victor is pretty much screwed and extremely underpowered. Um, Chaos Storm basically makes this huge storm. It silences the enemy, and it deals magic damage over time. And basically, you can control where the storm goes. Um, it's fairly slow, but most of the time in team fights there won't be too much movement, and it's fast enough to get the majority of the uh, team, even if they start to run. Um, I think it's definitely uh, the most funnest thing to play at the moment, and definitely worth maxing immediately. Finally, just a progression on items. What I usually do is I start with the Hextech Core, and I immediately start building the catalyst protector um, from there I try and get the catalyst and then I usually either go for boots or I upgrade the hextech core once I have the hextech core upgraded um, I basically upgrade the boots from boots of speed to sorcerer shoes and from there there are a bunch of paths you can take um, I usually go for Rylers because by that time you're going to need some more HP to be a little more tanky. So yeah, that's about it. Um, we don't have too much more time, but uh, my name is Will You Laugh In Game, and I'll check you guys later. Subscribe.